Hey everybody out there, welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Today, we're gonna do ourselves a little primitive catch and cook. We're gonna go in here to Ace Hardware, we're gonna get ourselves some goggles, we're gonna make ourselves a spear on the back of the tailgate, then we're gonna go out onto the river and try to spear ourselves up a meal's worth of crawdads. And then, we're gonna go to the bank, do my favorite little recipe, boiling them up in the pot right there on the river. So if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to go down here, hit subscribe, turn that little bell notification on, and give this video a thumbs up. Follow along today, you're gonna learn something, we're gonna have some fun, you might see something really cool happen. All right, we made it inside. All I'm gonna use today, really simple, a five and a half foot wooden bowl here. You'd probably make one with a stick, or if you had a broomstick laying around the house, it works pretty good. But next step, we're gonna go get our nails three galvanized nails. So these are about four inches here. We're gonna want those long spikes. Now let's go find some tape. 33 plus, the good stuff. So apparently the last thing you wanna to try to buy during the summertime is a pair of goggles and a snorkel. So drove all over town, tried four or five different places, found our goggles finally, the number one tool that we need today other than our spear, of course. All right, so here we are at the river. Think this is a good crawdad spot. But first things first, we gotta get our spear ready. So, again, I got my all my tools here. Pretty primitive. I got some about four inch galvanized nails. I got my one inch dowel, it's about five feet long or so. I got my little Gerber axe here. And I got some of my Scott extra nice electrical tape here. So what I'm gonna do here basically is pretty simple. I'm gonna give myself a couple of notches to work with, because again, I don't want these nails pointing inwards off the tip of my dowel. I want them about three and a half inches off of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give myself a little reference point and I'm just gonna put that nail head down like that in the back side of my axe. Give myself a little notch to work with. So there's one, there's two, and that's three. Be really careful if you do use one of these Gerber axes, they are extremely freaking sharp. Yeah, perfect. There's notch number one. Now, the moment of truth. So once again, I got my nail laid in there, right in my little groove. I'm gonna take my tape, and having a good electrical tape here is kinda key. So I'm gonna do one nail at a time here. So I'm gonna start just like that, keeping that right in that groove. I'm gonna run that tape, making sure that nail stays right in the groove. Okay, there's one nail. Same thing over here, make sure I find that groove. And I'm just gonna evenly wrap this all the way around. Give myself a nice good backbone for those spear tips. There you have it guys. Guys and gals, there's my crawdad spear. Again, we're only messing with little crawdads here, so it doesn't have to be too crazy, but got some sharp tips. They're spaced out just enough so that I can fit them around the body of that crawdad. Nice stiff dowel I can use kind of as a walking stick out there and be safe. And we're ready to go. Grab my snorkel equipment here. Adult Walmart goggles. Doubt they're even going to really fit, but hey, beggars can't be choosers in this day and age. Those are sweet, aren't they? I'll show you how I look in them in just a second. We got my little stove, propane stove. We got midway through, I'll release the secret of today. If we catch all these little crawdads, we're gonna have to make them with some Old Bay seasoning. Freaking delicious. Got our pot, got our little crack stove, got our propane can, and we are ready to go crawdadding. So we're gonna hike down over here, grab a little of the dog, grab my spear, let's go get some crawdads. So what I'm doing, I'm hiking down river here. I've actually never looked for crawdads on this river before, but I know they're here. I've seen them forever. But I'm thinking we're probably gonna need about 10, maybe 12, 15 crawdads to fill this big old gut up. So we're gonna go down. I'm just gonna hike up and down the river. I got all my supplies with me. We're gonna see what we can find in every little pool, put our goggles on, swim around, set the cameras up, and hopefully we bonus out on a spot where there's enough crawdads to feed us. One thing I do know here today is that I know I'm gonna have to find some deeper pools because obviously a lot of this river is super shallow. 
And if I don't find them in the deeper pools, I'm sure I can find them in the shallower water. But I'm just gonna walk around. You can see the water is super duper clear today. I'm gonna walk around, tighten my sandals up, and uh, get on the hunt. Now it's feeding time. Let's see if uh, my survival skills can be put to the test here. Um, I'm gonna go down here. I see some log jams, a little bit deeper water. I'm gonna hike down here and uh, see if there's any crawdads for the feeding down here in this bigger hole. What do you guys think? I think the crawdads are gonna be scared of me. So when first hitting the water here, I was really just trying to get a spec on what was going on, if there was a lot of crawdads in the area. So just going for the bigger rocks, looking for a little bit better structure for them, some place that these guys would live, like this one's got a little crack under it, and bam, there's one right there. He's just a little guy, but I was trying to draw first blood, getting my stroke down. I hadn't thrown a spear in quite a while, so missed him twice and got him. Aha! Caught at number one. Got him, guys. He's a little guy, more of an appetizer style. But he's a crowd out nonetheless. It didn't take too long. Got my little baggie here. Drop him in there. Cinch him up there. Tie this thing off to me. We did it. It's already a success. Let's keep hunting. So I knew there were some crowd in the area. And look at this. Go for the first rock. Wham! One tries to attack me. And I caught him midair like a pro. Well, there's another one. Didn't have to use a spear. I think he's a little small. We're going to let him grow up. So going back under the third dive, I could tell a lot of these rocks were going to be harder to move. So I just started looking for the bigger ones, looking for ones that I could get over. Whoa, there's one. He tried to attack me too. These things were aggressive today. My marksmanship was a little off here. Then I honed it in. Headshot. Got him. I think that one's a keeper. That was a good shot there. Mm-mm. I'm gonna name him Lunch. All right, there's number two. We're doing good here, guys. We're doing good. I think we're gonna be eating good tonight. All right, so got a little log jam here. I'm thinking there's gonna be some tasty little morsels up under here, so let's dive down. Try not to get caught in the logs and die. Let's see if there's any big ones down here. So going into this spot, I knew there was gonna be crawdads with all this wood around, but I didn't expect it to be a shamu of crawdad. Look at him. Did you see the claws on that bad boy? Had to go up for a breath. Went back down. Tried to get way under the logs here. And he got away. He went way up under the trees. Defeated from that one. I turned around and went Rambo style on the rest of them. This one here, he had a motor on him. Look at him go. But my marksmanship was on at this point. Headshot. Got me another. That was a good one. So at this point, I was starting to get pretty selective with the ones that I was picking. I really wanted them to be like that darker red color and a, a bit bigger size. You can see on those little ones, they almost have that like bluish hue to them. But these ones here were all looking really good for eating. Oh, this one's a fighter. He's only got one claw. But I think we won that battle. He thought he could win. But not today. Not today, little fella. Your lunch today. I hope you like Old Bay seasoning. There you go. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this looks super daddy over here. Up in the log jams. Crawl up in here. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm dying. <clears throat> there actually wasn't as many under these logs as I thought there was gonna be. I think it's because it wasn't in the current. I was definitely finding at this point in time that anywhere that had a good steady current had the most crawdads. And for some reason, I think it's because they're getting more food. Terrible aim. Well, that just kind of seemed like the nursery up in there. Let's go ahead, swim on back over to Little Dog here. See if we can't find a couple along the way. Let's go change holes. See if we can get into a good area where we can get some big hog daddies. On the swim back over, there's a couple rocks I just couldn't pass up. And what do you know, lo and behold, crawdads. Ooh, look at that shot. 
Oh, he tried to get away. He tried to get away, but he wasn't fast enough. Oh, he's a fighter. Boy, that little guy was a warrior. This is what we call butterfingers, everybody. God. Finally got him just right. Oh boy. I think we found the daddy spot. This looks like daddy heaven. Got some running water. A lot of food getting pushed down to him. A lot of big boulders. Coming away at about halfway down here. Get myself set back up. Get the cameras ready. See if we can't fill the rest of our bag. It looks like the spot that's gonna happen here. Not as much structure as far as like wood and stuff, but I can already tell we're gonna find some. Good boy, little. Oh, did swimming. <laughs> okay, spot number two. Let's see how she goes. Now, this spot I expected to be good, but really it was a lot better than I thought. I don't think, this is where I really started to fill the bag. Almost every rock as I started to go through had like a nice size crawdad in it. So I just started going through and I actually, it was hard to leave it at some point because there were so many of them. We go straight back down. First rock I flip over. There he goes. Got him. Little guy. What he'll eat. Got him. Woo. That's a hog there. <laughs> We're eating good tonight, everybody. Okay, so we got one staring us right in the face here. This is a big one. I hope this goes well. Let's see. Textbook caught out in there, right through the dome. Oh, that's a tasty one. I think what made this spot so much better was definitely the size of the rocks too. You can see how none of these rocks are like stuck to the bottom where I couldn't pull them out. There was a lot of big flat ones that were laying and giving a little bit of a home for these crawdads to live in. That's a fighter. Man, we're really raking them up. Glad we changed locations here, everybody. This turned out to be the honey hole. What I'm seeing here already is that this running water, this moving current with these bubble lines, it's bringing a lot of feed into them. So it's giving them something to eat. They don't have to work very hard. They don't have very far to go. So at this point, I was starting to have a lot of fun. Pretty much every rock again had them. That one looks exactly like the last rock. Look at the size of that granddaddy. He thought he was smart enough to get away. Not so much. You know, today I was really impressed in this river by the aggression of these crawdads, man. These things like to fight back. Like this guy hit him three times and he still grabs on and comes out of the hole. What a warrior. That little guy just reared back on us. Stuck his claws up and said, bring it. Caught out and is good today. I think we got enough. I'm gonna swim over to the bank here, maybe find a couple more on the way in. I'm gonna get my, my uh, pot of water going here. I'm just gonna use some river water. I'm gonna set up back here in the shade. Let's have ourselves a feast. All right, everybody, so here we go. Got my little handy dandy stove here. These things are freaking sweet. Got these little legs that whip out. Get this thing hooked up. Bam, just like that. There you go. Go out here in the current a little bit. Make sure we get some nice clean water. Oh, that'll do right there. 
Well, what do you know, guys? I'm an idiot. At least I didn't forget my lighter, but I went swimming the whole time with it. So, let's see if we can do a little trick that I know here. Take that little plastic deal off. I'm just going to run across that. Got a good spark going. Aha! We have flame. All right. Now we wait. Well, I'm sitting here boiling some water. I kept getting the delicious aroma of what would you have it? Blackberries. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, I lived on the river and I lived on blackberries and crawdads. Huck Finn style. Oh my God, these are delicious. If you guys like these catch and cooks, We'll be doing these all the time from now on. I like to go out. I like to catch stuff in the wild. I like to harvest certain things, especially certain times of year when things are in bloom, when things are popping up out of the ground. And if it's hunting season or fishing season or whatever it is. So be sure, go down here below, drop a comment with what your favorite things to do in certain times of seasons are. And we'll go out there and make those videos for you. Again, hope you guys are enjoying today. I'm gonna keep feasting on these berries. And then we'll get these crawdads cooked up. All right, so we got a nice rolling boil going here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the old, old bay seasoning. Goes good with shrimp, crab, chicken. I like kind of putting it on anything I'm gonna boil. But today, we're just doing our crawdads out here because we want a little, little bank lunch, but a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna do about three tablespoons here. Man, let's go four for good luck. And that, we're gonna let boil in there for just a minute. Really, you just want to get a nice little color going. You'll start to smell that instantly. And what that's going to do is that's going to cook into these crawdads and give them a really, really nice, tasty flavor. All right. There they are, everybody. Our bounty for the day. Ooh Sorry, little fellas. You're about to be lunch. All right. You ready for it? Ready, little? There they go. Oh, this is gonna be good. Got one more little straggler down there. And you go, oh, he's running. He's a runner. Run away. Okay. I'm gonna turn that up, get that boil going again. Let these guys cook for about 10, 15 minutes. And basically what you're gonna see happen here is you're gonna see them cooking. They're gonna have a nice boil going. You wanna let it go for about 10 minutes. And these things will turn like a bright fluorescent red almost, almost an orange color. And once you have that, then you know you're ready to eat. All right, so we're looking pretty done to me. I'm gonna turn this down here. You see what I mean by how these guys start turning that nice light red color. And that's what we're looking for, that nice, fluorescent red that nice smell I'm starting to smell a little bit of a shrimp smell here I'm just gonna do a little tester Ooh, I'm seeing some good meat in there what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my little Gerber scissors make a couple little snips snip snip put them down take that shell off take out the poop oh my god what a way to start well, it looks pretty done to me. So I saw it was done. I didn't get to taste it yet, obviously. So let's strain, strain our water out here. Look at that. Look at that, everyone. I think we did pretty darn good. Well, let's dig in. Look at these little guys. Let's see if it's the same as everything else where the little ones taste the best. Oh man. That's actually freaking killer. I'm really curious though. One thing I've never done with crawdads is tried the claws. Plus one of these claws open to see how it goes. Wow, there's actually quite a bit of meat in there. Yum. That'll teach you. That'll teach you to not throw your crawdad claws away. Well, I'm gonna keep chowing here. 
these things are absolutely delicious with this old bay seasoning I'm thinking obviously the bigger ones I like a little bit more a little more bang for your buck for working all that stuff out of those shells but they're super easy to eat if we were out here camping or fishing or whatever maybe got a couple of trout something else to go with it actually I'll tell you the truth I really think those claws are my favorite let's do them just like a crab claw break them with the teeth pull it in half look at all that meat in there actually quite a bit Mm. That is delicious. Really, I think the most fun part about today, in my opinion, was just like being in that underwater world, you know? Swimming around those log jams, turning over rocks, just being barbaric AF out there, and just living like a kid for a second, you know? Not a lot of us get time to, to go out onto the river and do things that we used to do when we were kids. I know this is, you know, when I was a kid, and grade school all the way through high school. This is what I lived for. We'd go down and take the dog down to the river with a snorkel. And we'd swim all day long, eat blackberries, kill crawdads, catch fish, and just live an all in all wholesome lifestyle. So if you guys again liked today's video, be sure to go down here, hit subscribe. We're addicted fishing. We do all kinds of stuff like this, whether it's salmon fishing out in the ocean, or sitting here doing stuff like kids swimming around in your local river or creek eating crawdads we got something for just about everybody out there once again thank you so much for joining me today you guys go down here hit that thumbs up drop a comment below with what you thought of today you all stay fishy and we'll see you out there all right everyone thank you so much for watching this channel if you want to see more cool videos like this here's a fun one right here for you if you haven't done so already Go down here, hit subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and be sure to comment below for the comment of the day. And here's that comment of the day right here. Interact with the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you out there.